Hey folks, I'm James Heimbach, the product manager for the testing group at GitLab. Uh, today, I'm just doing a quick demo um, about how to add the code quality job to your pipeline. Uh, and then what you're going to see from resulting code quality changes in a merge request. Uh, so I'll include links to the documentation about the feature and how to add it. And then this little hello world example that we're going to go through uh, in the video below. So here we have just a really small, simple Hello World Java project. Um, and I've already added our code quality job into the GitLab CI YAML file. Um, you can see it here in the GitLab CI YAML. The include for the template, that includes everything we need for the job. And then I've also specified an artifact path. Um, that's gonna let me download that resulting JSON every time this job runs, if I wanna take a look at the full report, uh, which is sometimes useful if you wanna look beyond just what the changes were in your, um, in your merge request itself. So if I look at the merge request that I added this in, we'll see that my code quality job ran, but I don't have in this merge request anywhere um, the code quality widget showing me what's changed. Uh, and that's because this is the first time that is run. Uh, but if we go into the job itself, we'll see that there is a job artifact, the resulting JSON um, that we specified. You can see it uploaded the artifact there, that's great. We can browse to it and we can then download it. Uh, and in this case, it's just an empty file. There's nothing really going on in this hello world yet uh, that is of note. I also wanna call out that here it says that the artifact's gonna be removed in six days. So by default, uh, that file is kept around for seven days. So if you're only running your pipelines, you know, once every two weeks or once a month, you might want to override that with the expire in keyword. Uh, and you can set that to keep for you know, 30 days if you need, so you always have access to that report. All right, so let's get back into our little hello world. And here we just have a little Java file, and I'm gonna get into the web IDE. It's my favorite way to make changes. So I know that the code climate engine that we're using uh, is going to complain if a method has a whole bunch of different inputs. So I'm just gonna add um, a bunch more of these here. And go ahead and commit that to a new branch. And we'll create a merge request for it. I'm just going to assign it to myself. And we'll go ahead and submit that. And that is going to kick off a build for our pipeline. And when that is done, we will come back and take a look. All right, so our pipeline finished running, and we can see in the merge request to update our Hello World Java file, we have now that code quality merge request widget, as we call it. We can see the code quality degraded on one point. Um, we can expand this, and it's gonna show us all of the various changes, um, where there's degradations or improvements, uh, if those happen in, in there as well. And then it'll link you to where there's that change. And so here, as we see here, it, the number of arguments in that method is just too high. It exceeds the four allowed. We should consider refactoring that. Um, so it's a smaller method and a link to that file. So we could go back and fix that up uh, and take care of it. And so that's how that code quality, um, code quality feature works and kind of the default code climate engines, um, kind of the things that they're going to trigger on or one of the things that they're gonna trigger on. Um, so that's how we go ahead and get that set up. Uh, you can find the links to the docs about the feature itself and this little project, and I'll leave this merge request just as is. Thanks so much.